Former Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev, one of the most influential leaders of the 20th century, has died. He was 91 years old. Russia's Vladimir Putin expressed his deepest condolences, while the Reagan Foundation put out a statement mourning the loss of a political adversary who ended up becoming a friend. Here's CBS's Charlie Daggett. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. He didn't look like a revolutionary or set out to be one, but Mikhail Sergeyevich Gorbachev changed the course of history. Born into a farming family in 1931 in what was then the Soviet Union, Gorbachev went to Moscow to study law, joined the Communist Party, and met and married Raisa. Together, they set out to change the face of communism. Before Gorbachev, Soviet leaders never ventured into the streets, let alone press the flesh. But in 1985, the youngest ever secretary general of the Communist Party swept the old ways aside. His twin policies of glasnost and perestroika opened the country up. When Gorbachev met President Reagan in Washington, D.C. in 1987 to sign the Nuclear Arms Reduction Treaty, it was clear that former enemies had found common ground. Mr. General Secretary, though my pronunciation may give you difficulty, the maxim is dovei no provei. Trust, but verify. <laughs> in 1990, Gorbachev won the Nobel Peace Prize. But his economic reforms weren't working. Soviet citizens were going hungry and getting angry. In August 1991, hardliners organized a coup. Gorbachev survived, but it was too much for him. He resigned and watched from the sidelines as the Soviet Union collapsed. History will judge that Gorbachev may be one of the most dramatic examples there is of what has been called the great man theory of history, which is to say having the right person in the right job at the right time. In every sense, Mikhail Gorbachev tore down that wall. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, London.